It is that time of year again. Whether we are shopping for your mom, sister, uncle, brother, friend, best friend, or yourself, and you want the coolest presents that that girl would have, that the Pinterest girl would have, that the clean girl aesthetic would have, you've come to the right place because I, I am that Pinterest obsessed girl who religiously uses the app and religiously goes on TikTok and actually has an addiction to scrolling on her phone, so knows all of the trends this year. I'm here to help you with the best Christmas wishlist video that you could probably find this year because I'm sorry, but I think the cutest stuff is being sold right now, and I don't know if it's just capitalism winning today, but like I want to buy every single thing. I've actually made a few of these videos before and I will have them all linked down below because those probably have their own ideas. By the way, if you don't know who I am, my name is Fernanda. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. I do not want to see any comments saying that I'm talking too fast in this video because I already know it is exactly what I'm going to do and you will actually be thanking me because there's no way I could get this many items into a video that's like a decent amount of time unless I'm talking at a crazy speed. So anyways, let's get into it. Number one, we have to go with, I think, 2022's most popular fall item, Uggs. I highly recommend getting the Ultra Mini Uggs if you can find them because they seem to be sold out everywhere. Get the platform ones if you can, or the regular ones, or the Tasman ones, adorable. Anything from Skims. The Skims bodycon dresses are amazing. Any oversized sweater, any type of Aritzia Babaton tops. I feel like it goes without saying, but Aritzia is like the best store if you want basics and high quality clothes. Some leather pants, I would highly suggest the Molina pants. Black loafers. I mean, if you want to go crazy, the Prada ones are beautiful, but if not, I think Princess Polly has great ones. Anything from Jerf Avenue. If whoever you're shopping for is into Instagram or like fashion or beauty, whatever, they're going to know who Matilda Jerf is. And if you don't know her, go find her. But she actually has her own clothing store and they've got the cutest basics, the New Balance 550s. I think Nike Dunks are super cute. And also I wanted to talk about Moon Boots. I feel like these have grown in popularity a lot. I think these are pretty expensive, but they're so cool, especially if you live in a snowy environment. A puffer vest. I I love wearing these with like long sleeves underneath or sweaters underneath. The Carhartt whip bag, I actually got recommended this from a follower and I thought it was so cute. The Steve Madden platform heels or platform boots. They have so many cute dupes of like designer brands. A North Face puffer jacket or any puffer jacket for that matter. Another item that is for the girls that like to go out is like a little club dress. These are so underrated to get as gifts because whenever you're going on a night out, you don't want to keep wearing the same dresses and these dresses are so easy to get. It's basically any sort of cute mini dress, any sort of purse. I think Brandy Melville has super cute purses, sweat set, whether that be from Maritzia, Los Angeles Apparel, Mad Happy, a Drew hoodie. I want one of these so bad. Coats are a super great gift because they're kind of expensive and you don't really want to buy them yourself, but I think they would do great as a gift. Okay, next up, we've got self-care. I love self-care. That is like a big niche on my channel here. I'm a pro at this topic. A matching PJ set. I bought this one today from Le'Veon Rose. It is super cute and it's like fleece, but I feel like a pink Pilates princess in it and I'm obsessed. A silk one or one from Brandy or like a super dainty pointel type of PJ set. Perfume. There's so many that I want. I know the Ariana Grande ones are good. Jo Malone has good ones. Maison Margiela. I don't even know how to say it. That one has good ones. Sleep Mist. I actually have one and I spray it over my pillows before I go to bed. It smells amazing. The New Face, I think this is a little bit more expensive, but I want one so bad. It's basically like some like electronic device that like snatches your face. It's like a gua sha on crack. Then we've got sunscreen. All of this skincare doesn't really matter unless we're wearing sunscreen. The Hailey Bieber like famous one, I'll put it on the screen. That one is like viral. Next up is Olaplex or any good hair shampoo and conditioner that's kind of expensive that you don't really want to buy for yourself. A dry brush. You brush your skin upwards and it's like a super like wellness thing because it's supposed to bring all of your blood flow going and you do it before the shower hair massagers and hair oils if you want to grow some hair ask for rosemary essential oil and a hair massager i've been using this and i swear i've grown so many baby hairs doing this teeth whitening strips and teeth whitening toothpaste i personally love the marvin's toothpaste i actually have noticed that it's made my teeth really white and it's like super aesthetic and nice face masks i actually just bought this one today that's why it's like literally beside me but this is the origins retexturing mask with rose clay and you best bet i bought a pink mask so when it dries up it's gonna look so cute and pink on my skin. Ice rollers, jade rollers, gua sha's. I love these. They make your face look snatched. If you have like a skin fridge, this is also a plus that you should definitely ask for if you don't have one already. Body wash or body products for the shower. The philosophy ones are ones I've been seeing all over my Pinterest. They look so cute and they have the cutest names. Face razors and face tools in general. These face razors are super cheap and they're really good for getting peach fuzz off of your face so your makeup goes on flawlessly. Self tanner. I literally just bought this one. This is the Isle of Paradise medium tanning drops. I also love the 
tanologist tanning drops. A humidifier. I recently bought one as well and it's making my skin so moisturized and not dry during the winter season. Any sort of aesthetic skincare. Having your cabinets or your desk look super cute with aesthetic skincare is just so fun. But the Laneige Lip Mask. This is going to make your lips look super soft and plump. Candles. I have never loved candles more than I do now that I live alone. I could go through so many of these. This is kind of random, but products to make your feet super soft. This could be like a pumice stone. This could be like a foot scrubber. This could be foot mask, scrubs, and foot lotions, and like fuzzy socks. I just feel like it's a part of our body that we sometimes neglect, and who doesn't want to have pretty and soft feet? Going off with that is hand lotions. This is one that I bought today. This is by Locate. Locate. I need to have soft hands this winter. I will not be allowing eczema to even form on my body. Get yourself a diffuser and a bunch of essential oils. It smells so good. I love it. A facial steamer. You put your face in it and it like steams and opens up your pores and it's perfect for like clearing your skin and having it super soft and putting like a bunch of skin products on. Silk pillowcases, sheets, eye masks, and hair wraps. Silk is so good for you when you go to sleep because you feel so luxurious, but it also is like not damaging to your hair, not damaging to your skin. Sol de Janeiro sets. Like Sol de Janeiro as a brand. It smells so amazing. You need to smell it if you haven't already. Lash serum. You can definitely look on Amazon or like I heard the ordinary one is really good. Incense and an incense holder. I definitely go to like a little crystal shop and first of all, they must have so many gifts there, but you can get incense that are a whole bunch of different scents and they probably have holders as well. Also, if you get them a cute lighter, I recently bought one that was like all gold. You can actually get them engraved with your name on it or like Lana Del Rey lighters on Etsy. A fluffy robe. This is so clean girl aesthetic. I recently just bought a pink one and like no regrets like, or like a towel one that you can like get out of the shower and feel like a vogue beauty secrets video in i recently got these gifted to me but like any sort of fluffy slippers is a great gift to buy lingerie is that crazy for me to say it doesn't even need to be like super sexy or crazy but i mean like lace little sets like you can have like a lace bra or nightgown dresses so cute and super like feminine a micro fiber towel for your hair if you have very delicate hair like super curly hair or you know somebody that does they will definitely appreciate this because it's so good for it you know what 2023 is the year where we take care of our natural hair. Eye masks, underrated. If you wanna go crazy, go stupid, and spend a lot of money, get the Chanel ones. If your girl's a material girl, she will be like over the moon with these. And you can take really aesthetic photos with these. Those are so expensive. So like, there's also like way cheaper ones at the drugstore or Sephora. Bath bombs, bath salts, bubble bath. You can get this at Lush. You can get this at the drugstore. You can get a little bath caddy. These are also perfect. Okay, next up, we're gonna move on to beauty. A Dyson Airwrap or any other heat tools like a curler, a straightener, a crimper, heatless hair products. So you can get those like hair rollers or this thing from like Urban Outfitters that's like a tube around your head and you like wrap your hair around it. I've actually used it many times and it worked so great on me. Makeup by Charlotte Tilbury. I highly recommend their setting spray, their glow beauty wand sticks or their flawless filter. Rare Beauty is also a great brand that I love to support. They have super great blushes, a fake freckle tool, Road Beauty by Hailey Bieber. I would love to buy this, but like they don't sell it in Canada. Also, any sort of like aesthetic makeup, like Glossier. I think Tower is like a cool brand. Lip glosses you can never go wrong with because like everybody just wants extra lip gloss. Or the Anastasia Brow Freeze. It's like brow gel. I love that. Or like a highlighter, I feel like is something that anybody could use. Next up, we're gonna go into accessories. <laughs> Any sort of glasses. If you already have glasses, might as well get a new frame. I think Glasses USA has really good glasses. Plain jewelry. I would love to receive some gold hoops. And going off of that, just getting maybe like a voucher for a piercing from Missouri or like any sort of place where you can get like a bunch of different other piercings. More specific jewelry is the Gucci silver heart necklace or their silver heart rings or earrings. Love Vivian Westwood jewelry. The long gold with the little charm is so cute. Same as their earrings and same with the ring. Leg warmers, I feel like this is the ultimate Pinterest girly accessory. You can get these at like H&M and I think they're super cute. Tukes or earmuffs. You can actually get earmuffs with built-in headphones, which I think is a super cool idea. The Ugg ones are super cute as well. Moving on to fitness and wellness journal. I think it is very essential to take care of the mental health. You can have one for like your everyday thoughts. You can have a manifestation journal, a dream journal, a cute water bottle, like a Lululemon water bottle. I love mine. Glass one would be super cute. The Lululemon Define jacket. I have this in black and it makes you look like the mom from The Incredibles. Like you're gonna look snatched. Some new running shoes. I just got some new ones from Lululemon and they're so nice. The everywhere belt bag from Lululemon. If you are a girl that loves to go on her hot girl walks, cute activewear. You can get this from Lululemon. 
Lauren, 437, Set Active, even like Gymshark, any sort of aloe set looks very like self-care or like Pilates princess. And speaking of Pilates princess, Frankie's Bikinis has the cutest clothes as well. Any sort of yoga tools or Pilates tools. If you're into that, you can get them a yoga mat, a little roller, some blocks, Pilates equipment. Someone would also love like a spin bike, a gym bag. You can get one from Lululemon or Gymshark. You can even like throw in a little lock for them. A meditation pillow. I would actually love one of these and it's like a little cushion. Like Urban Outfitters has a lot of these or like any sort of spiritual store should have them. Vitamin box if you know that they're super into taking like supplements and vitamins. I can't buy these in Canada but the vitamins by Kourtney Kardashian, I would love to try those out. A set of matcha with different flavors of matcha or like a tea version of that, like different types of tea, tea boxes. I saw one at Holt Renfrew with like super aesthetic teas. I want that so bad. A membership to a gym or a subscription. I'm sure that they would also appreciate that so much. Moving on to home. Linen bed sheets, mine are from Parachute, so freaking overpriced, but like the comfiest thing I've ever laid in. Or floral bed sheets if they're into the super cute coquette aesthetic. A giant throw blanket, or weighted blanket, or heated blanket, or like the crocheted blankets. Who can go wrong with a blanket? Fun lamps. This is like such a general topic. Galaxy lamp, sunset lamp, neon signs, fashion books, or any sort of decorative books. They look super great on like coffee tables. Coquette room decor. I feel like that's the aesthetic as of recently, and you can just search this up if you know you know a Lana Del Rey stan type of vibe like there's just so many cute things like little picture frames or painted wall art or like little angels or heart shaped like glass dainty trinkets the Philips wake up natural light I currently just bought one of these and it is actually a lamp that lights up like a sunrise and it's got like bird noises and it's supposed to be a super peaceful wake up a Dyson vacuum I personally want one so bad and they're so overpriced but if you're even shopping for a parent I think this is a great idea music posters my friend is so obsessed with these and she loves posters and her room is like so vintage and cool. A record player and records. I feel like buying records is so personal and they can build a collection. Any sort of fuzzy rug. I think like a regular white one is super amazing or like a checkered one or you can get some for like really cool designs on Etsy and they're like different shapes. Clothing rack. Also I think plants are a super great gift idea especially if you live in like a hot climate or like a climate where plants really thrive. Plants can actually go for a lot of money and I think it's like a super cute gift because it's the gift that keeps on giving. Also, I just want to throw in there, if you are like someone my age and you're shopping for a person my age, go thrifting for them. They, honestly, the home aisles are so easy to like find stuff that you like. I'm sure whoever you are buying for would appreciate it so much if you thrifted them something because it's like you really, you really meant to buy that for that person. Moving off of home, we're going to go specifically with kitchen. <laughs> any sort of kitchenware from our place. They're like pans, glasses. I don't know how to explain it, but like different sorts of glasses or cocktail glasses and like glass straws. They have such cute ones. If you go on Etsy, they have a lot of cute ceramic things. Espresso machine. I currently want the like cream color with a bunch of different types of coffees and like syrups or like different ice cube molds. An air fryer. I just recently bought one. I am so happy to use this to cook. Any sort of appliances from Smeg I think are beautiful. They're like pretty expensive, but if you buy them from Facebook, Facebook marketplace they can go for a lot cheaper a cocktail making set is like super fun underrated you can like make drinks with your friends even if they're non-alcoholic you can still make drinks with that kind of set if you want to be that girl get yourself a juicer because it's like the ultimate that girl item and you can make juices for so much cheaper at your house cute aprons why is this adorable I want to buy myself an apron and like start baking with them only wearing this apron any baking equipment or cookie cutters I think that's super cute or like if they just like to bake get them like a baking book or like a cooking book I think that that's that's super useful. A frother. On to productivity. A 2023 planner. Weekly planner, monthly planner, daily planner, to-do list planner. I want them all. Pens in general and stationery. Another one is blue light glasses. I touched on this a little bit earlier, but can't go wrong with these. A phone stand. Specifically the ones that have the bottom empty so you can charge it at the same time. I actually use mine all the time in my office. External hard drives are really great. An extra camera or extra equipment or an SD card or like a microphone or a podcast like cute pencil cases. You can get these on Etsy. They look adorable. Pastel highlighters. An iPad and an iPad pen. That's crazy expensive, but like I really want one. Also any sort of books, like whether this be a uh, fiction or nonfiction or self-help Colleen Hoover books. They're actually really easy to read and they're just amazing. Or even poetry books. They're super aesthetic and look super cute as decor. We're gonna go into electronics. 
over the head headphones, either the Apple ones or the Bose ones, or like those vintage smaller ones, phone cases or cases for your Apple like headphones or AirPods. Wildflower has amazing cases for all of your electronics and Hold Tight Club, which is one of my best friends, small businesses. She also does cases and they're super cute. I would highly recommend looking on there. Even getting an iPhone charm. I feel like these were a little bit more popular last year, but if you're still into it, they're so cute. And also from Wildflower, you can get laptop cases, which I think are super cute, or you can get these from Amazon. A Polaroid camera and film. Honestly, so underrated. I've been using my Polaroid camera like crazy recently and I've been loving it. A disposable camera and AirTag. I need an AirTag. I lose every single thing that I have and I think that this would be a great gift. A keyboard cover or a new keyboard. A portable charger. Cannot go wrong with this. A digital camera. These I feel like shouldn't be that expensive because it's like vintage and old, but like it's super in right now. So a Nintendo Switch. In particular with the game Super Mario Bros. I'm obsessed with it. A good chair or like a standing desk. Oh, the ring that tracks your sleep. I guess this is maybe more in the category of wellness, but it's kind of like technology. This could also be like an Apple Watch, but it's like a ring that you put on and it like tracks your sleep cycle. I feel like that's just super awesome. Okay, this one's kind of crazy, but I recently got Sims 4 on my computer. Kind of weird, but you have to pay for the extension packs and like if someone you know or yourself plays Sims, ask for some extension packs for Christmas. Hobby girl winter. That's what we're gonna call it. Okay, 2023 is the year where we embrace hobbies starting off with buying coloring books or sketchbooks Get into the hobby of coloring and drawing. I think it's super fun. It's super therapeutic There's so many different coloring books that you can get another one is those paint by color things I want one so bad bracelet kits My friends are literally 21 and all we did this summer was make these bracelets with yarn I feel like you can buy this at chapters and have so much fun with it a wreck this journal I used to have them when I was younger and I never finished it But like they're so fun and you can just like really go off and even getting a bunch of supplies to do like scrapbooking with or just like you know just coloring and being fun a chess set i literally have this on my coffee table and it's like a glass one learn how to play chess it's super fun i actually do know how to play and i used to play all the time with my brother a water coloring book and a water coloring set even if you can buy them glasses to like a cooking class painting class drawing class ceramics class pottery wheel i have no idea how much that would cost but that would be epic lego sets or like a mini house that you can build you basically make it out of paper, wood, and like fabrics, and it's super cool. A bike, skis, snowboard, all the equipment that you need for that would be a great gift. Yarn and needles. I feel like crocheting was such a big thing this past summer. Thick art markers. I personally love these. I have some from Amazon, and they're so fun to color with. And then I have a little theme just called random. <laughs> Starting off with merch. Merch from your favorite YouTuber, singer, artist, whatever it may be. Experiences. Bungee jumping, going skydiving, going on a trip together, going to a concert together, an event, whatever it may be. I feel like getting someone the gift of a memory is just like iconic and so wholesome. We're not really strangers, plus their expansion packs or any sort of like card topic starting game. Okay, this one is so random, but slime. Do you remember in like 2019, 2020 when like slime was like such a big thing and you would like watch these like small businesses have super overpriced slimes which like now looking back they're probably like not even that expensive but at the time i thought they were low-key i would love to buy some good quality slime or like fidget toys luggages why are luggages like so overpriced if you're someone that travels a lot i think investing in like good quality luggages would be such a good gift that was my wish list for 2023 those are all my favorite things those are all things that i genuinely want to have myself and that i think any of my friends would want to have subscribe if you haven't already i love you guys let me know in the comments down below what you are asking for for christmas or if i forgot anything this video is gonna take me so long to edit i already know so please give it a thumbs up i love you forever and i'll see you soon